Sol Solidizo was born right here in Lusaka, born on 13th of April. I usually don't love saying my year of birth, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 90s baby. <laughs> I'm not 2000. Yeah, I was born in 1990. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was born right here in Lusaka. Uh, what else? My, my schooling is quite puzzled. I actually passed through grade 7 schools uh, before getting to up to getting to grade 7. So like I spent a year on each school, but there was just circumstances in moving on. I started my education at uh, uh, Northmead Primary School and then moved on to Thorn Park. After Thorn Park, I had to go to Mumana. Yeah, Mumana Basic. And then after that strike, and then had to go into the private system. Uh, but most of my schooling life can be, that was, I think I was in grade 2. Most of my schooling life, I would say, it went on from Masamililo. It had, it had had an impact on me, so I was at Pilgrim Wesleyan Church School, which was known as Masamili. That's where I had from those years after grade 7, and then I moved on to Kansenji in Kafue, as well as uh, as well as Chakopo. I actually learned one term, one term on these schools, and then <laughs> you actually wonder to these schools. Okay, uh, growing up, it has, I've always, my parents were always people who are serious in terms of education-wise. So uh, having a mom, a teacher, as well as what really made the major move like to to go to because mom got her transfer as well as a promotion in Luapula. So uh, and then then we just had lost dad. So we just had to make the move to make ends meet. But it was quite funny because uh, at the time I was by Masambililo and then going to Kansenji, I had to now because was Chinyanja. <laughs> but I was yeah I was acquainted with French as well as English. But I'm Zambian. I had to learn that. So the switch was the only diff the only difficult part I found uh, going to Luapula as well as in Mansa was just adapting, but adapting wasn't much of a problem because matwali and and stuff like it just had problems with, with writing that stuff. But it wasn't quite that. It wasn't quite uh, a devastating moment. To it. it was quite interesting because I remember the first test I had that I got a five and then the teacher was like, "How come you're able to get this stuff?" But I learned as well as grew up with it and. Talking about, I think things happen for the better. Uh, talking about moving to Lopula, I think uh, Lopula and Mansa made me. <laughs> they actually made me and made who I am today. It was there and then I cultivated and stuff I never thought would happen. And <laughs> I, I'll, never say, I'll never say it was quite a wild experience because uh, um, uh, talking about things is, I used to regularly visit like the time I was young, uh, Granny would, as a person would come on, but uh, one thing I loved from my late father as well as just like my mom is the emphasis of knowing where you're from, knowing your culture and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then then you do other things, but if you're at home, you're all at home. One arm change, everything has to happen there. So it, it was just it was quite uh, the first time I went there. You know, change of environment is always critical at times. You think uh, this and that, but I think. Uh, these are my words. I prefer Mansa to Lusaka <laughs> a lot more because it's quiet. You get to think straight. You get to get to focus and then move on just like that. And it was quite an awesome experience because I also moved into my education. Secondary school was by St. Clements. I spent five years there. And it, it is really something that grooms you for the future and gives you uh, what is supposed to happen. Okay, talking mm -hmm. about still talking about my pen Kole Mwansa here. So tell us, uh, do you have uh, any siblings, you know, female or male? <laughs> and uh, what's your number in your family? Uh, I'm from I'm from a family that's supposed to be originally six. Uh, they're supposed to be, yeah, it's so originally six. There's my brother Kelvin, then there's my late sister, my also recent sister was Petronella, and then we have uh, Lucy, then comes in me. Then there's Margaret as well as Edna. It's quite an interesting family. Two guys as well as four females. Lent, I, I know a lot of stuff about women. <laughs> yeah, it is quite an. As well as my ever loving and supporting mom. Yeah, she would give me her advice and give me courage to do things I do. But she would say, Don't tell anybody I told you to do what you're doing. But she, she, she's a mother who all kinds of understands me. Okay. Then your work. Where you started work as in your know, DJing stuff, mm -hmm. who groomed you to start DJing and how did it all begin? Well, it all heads back. I, I, I don't say 
people just brought out what was in me. I was a, I was born a DJ and I was born that person. So I st I, st I still believe it, it's it happened to the best the best of my abilities. But uh, be hitting hitting the nail on the head. Uh, the KFM radio. That's the first uh, private uh, commercial radio station in Mansa m made what you're seeing today, specifically uh, drafts. That's Mama Matimba, who's a station manager now for Force FM in Livingstone. It's an award winning station, I guess, as well as Martin Chalavis, as well as uh, uh, Kapungwe, Vincent Latham. I, I think uh, these people saw something I was in and they brought out me. They, they made the Solid Dizzy a brand and Solid Dizzy something you would want to have on your radio and they, they, they just brought me out. And then how did you start your work at uh, your first uh, radio station is KFM? Mm -hmm. how, how was the experience as in with your colleagues, your fellow DJs? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I still believe right now uh, the team that was at KFM was the A-team of radio. 